proclaim the gospel itself. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with tuatra, tuatara lizards and their periodal eyes. He is expressing anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapyism manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So I'm guessing that's that big motherfucker that threw me off the, out the window. state right now because every fucking move I make could be my last. Really? Like, are we fucking serious here? I 
really don't want to run, but I can look behind myself while I'm running. Yeah, show some love. Show some love in the chat for the phone. I don't want to go downstairs. The security room is this way. The electric room is that way, though. A broken man watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with the cheese grater. <laughs> okay, that's a good description. He throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up, some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler and a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I ask for. <laughs> there are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit.
I feel like all these games, people breathed way too loud. Like, I would be fucking quiet. Like, anyway. Oh, my God, I just... I can't, I can't even fucking do this right now. Anyway. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1952, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Mass Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. One, a post-hypnotic the night before. Pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Suggestion? Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia from the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had ever happened.